Hello and welcome back to another video in the series machine learning using Swift language. So in this video we are going to make a language detection app. So what this app will do is it will just take an input text from the user and when the user hits detect language button it's going to tell the user which language does that text belong to. So for example if we enter hello here in this text box the app will detect that this is a word of the English language. Similarly, we can change this to some other word of some other language and it will show you which language this is from. So we will be using the natural language library which Apple offers and we will be using the CoreML framework which is the machine learning framework which is offered by Apple. So to get started, let's just open up Xcode and we can just go ahead and create a new project. It will be a single view app and I'll name this language detection. And you can put this wherever you want. I'll just put it on the desktop for now. And we will be using Swift UI to make our application. So let's just hit resume. So let's just get started with our basic Swift UI view. I will get rid of this hello world text. And in that place, I'll just add a V stack here. And to start off, we can just add a text here, which will say language detection and I'll add some modifiers here to change the font and the color and let's add a text field here so the user can pass the string in this text And let's also create a variable for this particular string. I'll create a state property variable. And let's just call this value. And I'll initialize with an empty string. Let's add another state variable here. And I'll just call this language. So I'll use this string to make a text box which will show which language this particular text belongs to. So here we can just add the value variable that we just created. And let's add a background color to our vstack here. Let's add the alignment value to our vstack and I'll just set this to center. And next we can create our button and I'll add a few modifiers to the button and I'll also add the corner radius property to the button. So our button looks good for now and after this I'll add another text element here which will say the predicted language is and in the next text element we can just show the language. So here we can use the language string that we had created. So let's also add an image next to our language detection text here to make our app look good. So let's just add a system image and I'll use the music.note image here which is available in the SF symbol library by Apple. 
and we can set the image scale property to large and I think I want the image next to our text so for that I'll just create a horizontal stack here and I'll put both of these elements inside of this right so this looks good and let's just add a spacer here and I will also add a spacer at the bottom of our view and one at the top of the horizontal stack and while we're at it let's also add a spacing property to our top level vertical stack so our view has starting to look good now I'll just add a few more modifiers to make this view look good and let's also change the font for our text field so I think this UI looks good for now you can obviously go ahead and tweak it to the way you like it I'm just going to keep it like just like this and for now let's just create the function here which will actually detect the language so here inside of this button we are going to create the function and let's just get to the top of our file and we can import the libraries which will be needed here so let's just go ahead and import natural language and core ml so these are the two libraries that we will be needing in this project and here we should make a function which will be implemented when the user taps on this button and whatever text that the user has taken will be set as the parameter of that particular function and it can return the language of that particular text so let's go ahead and create a new function here I'll just call this detect language so this function will take the text as a string value and it will return an optional string value because many a times if the user adds some weird symbols in this text field our library might not be able to detect that language for it so that's why we have to keep this as an optional so that we can return null when the language is not detected so let's just go ahead and create the contents of this function so first of all I'll define a variable which is locale so here I'll initialize a locale object which will have the identifier as en so now en is the language in which we will be returning the detected language in so for example if you pass hello in this text this function will return the string English so you guys can definitely change the locale here to any language that you prefer and our function will return this particular text in that language so to find out the key identifiers for these locale language you can just simply make a Google search of iOS locale identifiers and you will find this first github page so here you can see all of these locales so for example if I was to change the locale in this function to Italian the text in this will be returned as an Italian string so let's go ahead and show you guys how this works so after creating our locale object we'll just go ahead and create a recognizer which will be a NL language recognizer object so this is the main object which will do all the heavy lifting in here and we'll use the process string method of this object 
and here I'll just pass the text. So this function will process this string which we are passing in here. And next we can just create a new string here. To register the response of this recognizer and I'll use the dominant language method of this in a language recognizer object and we can give and since this is a guardlet we can just give an else return statement so here I will just return unable to predict language But in case that this function does predict the language correctly, I'll just make a return statement for locale and find the localized string. For the language code. And I'll pass the raw value in this so this is pretty much all we need to do we have imported the natural language library which Apple offers and we have simply created a language detection application and inside our button function let's just implement this new function detect language that we just created and here we'll pass the value variable because this is the variable that the user will be entering in the text field. Now, since this function returns an optional string here, so this, so the value of this could be a null. So let's just unwrap this in a variable. And in here, we can just also print this value of prediction and we can set the value of our language variable to this prediction string and here down here in this text field we are displaying the language value so let's go ahead and run this application so let's just go ahead and try out our application so if I pass the hello text here is for this has predicted that this is a part of the English language similarly I can pass bonjour here and it detects that this is from the French language so if you go back to this iOS locale identifiers page again here you can choose any language be it Japanese Arabic Urdu Punjabi so for example if I pick up this Japanese language here and in our detect language function I just change the locale to Japanese and build our application again and now if I pass the value hello here you'll see that this is returning a Japanese text so you guys can go ahead and play around with this locale and recognizer functions and that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you subscribe for regular Swift UI content thank you